Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because ain't nothing like the sizzle of butter in a skillet. Now, what we putting with that butter? Okay, golden Yukon potatoes. Now, we cut these golden Yukon potatoes up French fry style, and then we have to. We have these red onions with a rough chop on high heat, working it, working it, and working it. Why? Because we looking for that color, that golden color, and that crisp that this cast iron skillet that we work it with brings. But also, it doesn't matter if it's a cast iron or whatever skillet you have. If you work it on high heat and play with it according to how you cook, you will get that color you looking for, y'all. Now be sure to work it. Now we're gonna slide over to the next side and we're gonna drop that butter right there in that skillet again. This time, we have a julienne style cut of onions that we working with, y'all. We're gonna throw some pico de gallo in there too. Now, work this, work this, but also, it's okay to let it sit, but still work it because you don't want it to stick. We're going to be adding something with this so we don't want it to become translucent to where it becomes too soft. All right, y'all, we got that ground beef in there. We pairing it with beef base now. Beef base is a wonderful flavor agent. Chicken base, all bases, they are wonderful for flavor agent purposes. But you must be cautious on the salt that you add in because beef base, chicken base, and all these other bases are high in sodium. They are great and they can actually help you to use less salt and to use more flavor agents, meaning other seasonings that don't have salt. So that is what beef base can do for you too as well. Now we working this on high heat though, y'all. We working it, we working it, and we working it. All right, now we gonna slide back over to the other eye. Ooh wee, okay, those potatoes, those onions, they looking good. We gonna throw the rest of that pico we got in there too. Waste not, won't not. Now mix, mm-hmm. So now we are still working this on high heat. Now I'm getting to the point to where I'm cutting this down, y'all. I'm cutting it down. Now it's at low, and I'm seasoning up as it goes. Actually, now I'm about to cut it off, y'all. I cut it off. You don't see it, but I cut it off with my opposite hand. It's off. We're going to work it. We're going to work it because we're going to take this, and we're going to do some other things with these potatoes. What do y'all think about this? Tell me how you cook your potatoes in the skillet. All right, y'all. Now that we have this ground beef, seasoned up first thing we did before we seasoned up the ground beef was remove it from this cast iron skillet and strain it to get all that extra grease out and let it sit and then we put it back into the skillet the eye is off take a look at what we have after we drained it you can see everything in there it's not overcooked it's cooked and you got all the color that you looking for inside of your ground beef y'all mm-hmm quesadillas baby quesadillas you tell me how you like your quesadillas y'all but we're gonna line these quesadillas up right here leave a comment tell me what all you want inside of your quesadilla when you have a quesadilla is it chicken is it veggie is it seafood quesadilla like a shrimp quesadilla something like that let me know in the comments y'all but we gonna keep it working And no matter who your sports team is, y'all go out there and make sure that you are feeding everybody that you love good. Make sure you feed yourself the way you need to feed yourself and go all the way around those edges. Don't short yourself. Go all the way around those edges, y'all. And then line up that ground beef right. Don't overload it. One side, y'all. One side. Because if you try to do both, it's gonna be too heavy. You won't be able to pick it up. Take a look at that, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Think about a game day and you getting ready to eat these. You making this for your family or your friends or they making this for you and you walk in the kitchen and they got that right there saying you can't touch it. 
You can't have none of it unless you are willing to watch my favorite team play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you love them that much and you're willing to have their favorite team on TV, that's great. And if y'all have the same sports team, that's even better. No matter who your team is, make sure you have your meal prepared. And this right here can be served for catering events. This can be served for so many different events. Think about it. I've served this at many catering events myself, and people fall in love with it every time. I fed my family with this. I fed my friends with this. This is what it's all about, y'all, during sports season. Having fun and loving good food, y'all. Fall sports are upon us, y'all. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I'm going to keep coming with more and more and more. So y'all might as well get used to seeing me because I'm here and ain't going nowhere. Thank y'all for all the time y'all give me. And I'll make sure to see y'all on the next side. And if you feel there's something that we missed, leave a comment so we can put it on the playlist. And we'll make sure that we post a video of it real soon for you.